time to be alive. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what is going on in the Pokemon card market anymore. It is official. Uh, I have I have lost my mind. I have no idea what's happening. Did you guys see? Uh, so there's there's a new card getting bought out. I don't I don't know why. I should know why. I feel dumb. I just feel like I have no idea what's going on. Uh, Lance uh, maybe probably has something to do with like the the dragon set that's upcoming. I don't know the Lance. The full art from Silver Tempest, I guess. They're like that is the card right now that's on the move, uh, being bought out. Like it was looking at the sales before. It was like uh, a couple of sales on the 22nd of April, uh, a few sales on the 23rd, a lot of sales on the 24th, uh, a few sales on the 25th, and then like just an absolute ton of sales on the 26th. And I'm sure that I'm sure somebody will comment down below and let me know exactly what's going on and why it's happening. So thank you very much. But it's just, it's crazy to follow, right? It's just crazy to see everything that's going on. It's all Sword and Shield era stuff. Like, uh, we, we obviously ran into an issue with Temporal Forces cards being bought out a little bit because uh, special illustration rares were super difficult to pull. And I assume, I assume it's going to be the same moving forward with Twilight Masquerade. I think special illustration, I think pull rates are going to, are going to stay the same. I think they nerfed pull rates and it's going to continue being that way. Well, the jury is out. We'll see what happens uh, once Temple or once Twilight Masquerade comes out next month. But uh, we are we are keeping close watch on everything Sword and Shield right now because it is all over the place. We just recently saw uh, Astral Radiance go out of stock on the Pokemon Center website and then come back in stock for a very brief period of time. It's gone already. Like I, I saw somebody on, on Twitter uh, the other day who clicked on it and it was out of stock. And now I looked before I recorded this video and I was like, well, if I click on it, it's going to be out of stock. And I just I couldn't even click on it because I already said out of stock. So uh, Astral Radiance gone again. I'm assuming probably gone for good. Uh, so we still have Brilliant Stars. We still have Silver Tempest. Uh, we still have Lost Origin up until a couple days ago. We touched on this in the video from a couple days ago. Lost Origin is now gone. Gone off of the Pokemon Center website. And basically, if you're new to the hobby, uh, once something sells out on the Pokemon Center website, it's very difficult to obtain something uh, for MSRP or lower uh, once it's still available, uh, when it's no longer available on the Pokemon Center website, if that makes sense. So PokemonCenter.com always sells stuff at MSRP. Once it's gone at MSRP, uh, the price seems to just skyrocket. We're watching Lost Origin very carefully because when I looked right before starting the recording on this video, there was like seven booster boxes on TCG Player that were under $200. That's it. Uh, so basically, you could buy it three days ago on Pokemon Center's website for $143 and uh, three days passed, and now the cheapest you can find it on TCG Player, because it's no longer available on PokemonCenter.com, is uh, just under $200. I looked on eBay, and the cheapest price on eBay was like $220, $215. Like, it was just, it's just crazy to see how quick some of this stuff goes, and that's why if you had the opportunity and the uh, the finances the finances uh, to buy Lost Origin when it was $90, $100, $110, when it was much cheaper, obviously, that was when you were uh, going to get the most bang for your buck. That was going to be the best time. I like Lost Origin a lot. Lost Origin is probably my favorite set throughout Sword and Shield. I know a lot of people are really high on Evolving Skies. I think Lost Origin has huge potential long term. I think it's a really great set. That's what we're going to talk about in today's video. And you can let me know what you think about Lost Origin in the comment section down below. But I think the Trainer Gallery is absolutely stunning. I think that is the best Trainer Gallery we have. Uh, it's got the, the Charizard in it. It's got the Gengar in it. It's got the Pikachu V and the Pikachu V Max in it. It's got the Sleepy Pikachu in it. It's got my all time favorite, Chandelure, in it. Like, it's just a beautiful set from all the trainer gallery standpoint when it comes to the actual set uh, the introduction of the lost zone and all the lost zone mechanics that are in there obviously Giratina is very big in competitive play but also the Giratina alternate art is a big, deer, the big deal the Aerodactyl alternate art is a big deal and the other alternate arts the Galarian Persecure and the, uh, the, the Rotom V probably not getting as much uh, love but the, I mean there's still a lot of really cool cards in the set here's the booster box right here and you can kind of see what happened so uh, Lost Origin did go out of stock briefly on the Pokemon Center website. It was sold out uh, at distribution back in May of 2023. So almost a year ago, uh, it was pretty much out of stock. However, it did get a massive reprint, a very large reprint. That's why you see it tailed down in October of 2023, fell all the way down to $126.95. It hit low uh, pretty quickly because it was such a large reprint. It was coupled along the same time of a Silver Tempest reprint that also brought Silver Tempest booster boxes way down. 
uh, and it just it took a little bit for it to recover, but it recovered real fast starting in March. You can see right around MSRP in March, and then really started taking off now over the past uh, month or so. Now it's going to continue to climb even higher than that. So 178.52, you can't find it on TCG Player for 178.52. So I would assume that in a couple of days the market price is going to be even higher uh, than this right here. So uh, definitely keep an eye on it. This is what we're looking at on the Pokemon Center website. This is it. When you search for Lost Origin products on the Pokemon Center website, you still have the option of buying uh, the Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer Box. I like exclusive ones. I like the Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer Boxes a lot better. Uh, if you watch the video recorded, we recorded last week with like that wall of Elite Trainer Boxes. There's just so much normal Elite Trainer Boxes that were printed. Nor there were a lot of reprints, a lot of Brilliant Stars reprints, Lost Origin reprints, Silver Tempest reprints. There was a lot of Elite Trainer Boxes that got put out there. Obviously not as popular of a product as booster boxes, uh, Elite Trainer Boxes. I think that having an exclusive option like the Pokemon Center offer offers, I think is a much better uh, long-term piece to have in your collection than just a normal ETB. Obviously, if you can collect both of them, go nuts. Uh, but uh, the, the exclusive one, obviously much better. You still get Build and Battle Stadiums and Build and Battle Boxes available. Everything else is gone. Uh, no more... Uh, no more booster boxes, not even three-pack blisters. Those are gone as well. Which You could get some sweatshirts, I guess. I don't know how these pertain to Lost Origin, but they must pertain to Lost Origin in some way because they're advertised when you search for Lost Origin. So there's that. Uh, here's the Lost Origin booster box snip on TCG Player. Now, I did look at the amount of sales on TCG Player today. Not moving very fast. There's only a couple of sales today. So it seems like people are kind of being a little bit more careful when it comes to Lost Origin. If you remember what happened with Fusion Strike, when Fusion Strike went out of stock on on the Pokemon Center website, it seemed like a week passed, and it was all of a sudden up to like two hundred and twenty dollars a booster box. Like it skyrocketed fast, and people were flocking to TCG Player to buy uh, buy out the stock that was on TCG Player. A little bit slower for Lost Origin, so it'll be interesting to see how long it takes uh, for all of these listings to kind of disappear that are below two hundred dollars. But uh, as you can see on this snip, there's only a few available. There's it looks like uh, there was only one <laughs> one available on this on this snip here. But when I looked earlier, there was still seven available somebody somebody must have added a little bit of extra stock but still only 37 listings that are listed right now uh very few that are listed under 200 so it's only a matter of time before that shoots up here is the most recent sales on tcg player for how quickly this product is moving so you can see on the 19th uh already boxes were kind of uh taken off of tcg player really anything that was even above msrp up to 160 dollars or so you can see as of april 19th there were still sales at 172 which is a little bit expensive when you consider the fact that on April 19th they were still available on the Pokemon Center website. I think it was limited to six, uh, but then a few days later, obviously, we're looking at like the 23rd, 24th of April, somewhere around there, that it went out of stock on the Pokemon Center website. And because of that, your lowest listings starting to go. You can see a sale for $194.99. So it's really going to depend on what the demand looks like for Lost Origin. Here's the cases right here Lost Origin sealed cases. Uh, the high point is $1,046.11. That's where we are at right now. This is the highest Lost Origin booster box cases have ever been. Now, a little bit more difficult to move. Obviously, there's a lot bigger of an investment here, but there are people out there who prefer collecting sealed cases as opposed to sealed booster boxes. The low point on this one, falling right around the same time as when we saw low, the low point for sealed booster boxes, that's when it was $773.42. The cheapest right now on TCG Player, you're looking at over $1,500. So you do have a few sales over the past week. You can see April 26th, one moved for about $1,200, uh, one moved on uh, April 26th also for $1,110, and one moved on the 24th for $1,114. But now, uh, the cheapest ones available are over $1,500, so not a whole lot of options when it comes to buying uh, booster boxes in, in sealed case form. Now, that is that is a lot more expensive. You're looking at like $250 for a booster box as opposed to the going rate right now, which even with its new established market price of about $180, that's a little pricey. If you're looking for a case, obviously, you may want to look at eBay or a different option, maybe a storefront of some sorts, but $1,500, uh, very, very expensive. Not a whole lot of options available on TCG Player. Uh, so very interesting to look at. If we look at the Elite Trainer Box right here, uh, like I said before, I prefer the exclusivity of the Pokemon Center exclusive ones. This one, uh, obviously, 
could take a little bit of time to get back to its one-year high. Its one-year high was hit in September of 2023. That's when it was up to $46 in a penny, which is a little bit above MSRP. But again, that reprint hit hard. Uh, $28.82 is where this fell to in December of 2023. Now it's starting to gain a little bit of ground back, sitting at $37.05 currently. You might see it tick up a little bit higher. I expect it to hit MSRP at some point soon over the next few weeks. Here's a Lost Origin sleeve booster pack. It's going to be interesting to watch the booster packs. Obviously, now you're not going to find sleeve booster packs in store as much. Obviously, you should keep an eye out for them. Uh, but $4.60 was the high point of this one. That happened in September of 2023, much like what we just saw with the Elite Trainer Box. It did drop down in December to about $3.07. Now it's starting to gain a lot of ground back. It's sitting at $4.26, which is about $0.26 cents above the MSRP for this specific product. So you might want to start looking at loose boosters, things like that. Obviously, Lost Origin not going to be in a whole lot of collection boxes or tins or anything like that anymore. A lot of the new products that are coming out, uh, like we talked a couple days ago about all the new collection boxes that Pokemon keeps pushing out and releasing. They're going to focus a lot more on Scarlet and Violet era packs, especially now that we're heading into the sixth Scarlet and Violet era set. Uh, even packs that, or even collection boxes that have six, seven packs in them are probably going to focus mainly on those Scarlet and Violet era packs. And I think Sword and Shield has kind of seen the last of reprints and additional stocks. Here's the loose booster pack right here there's still going to be quite a few of these out there. So you should still have a lot of potential to buy uh, 36 loose booster packs or single loose booster packs at decent rates, especially below MSRP. You can see right now sitting at $3.64, which is still uh, quite quite a bit below MSRP. Uh, its high point was at $3.88. That was about a year ago. It did dip down in November of 2023 down to $2.99. I don't know if we'll see them go that low again, uh, but you should be able to find them for you know around $3.50 or so, especially if you buy them in bulk because uh, they were very, very, uh, they, they were a lot of them around, right? Like a lot of collection boxes, a lot of Sword and Shield era collection boxes did have a ton of Lost Origin in them. So having loose booster pack options, if you still want to open Lost Origin, obviously you're not going to crack open a booster box, uh, but having the opportunity to buy loose packs and things like that should still be an option for quite some time because even though uh, there's less uh, Sword and Shield era collection boxes out there, there's still a fair amount. And they were printed, there were so many of them printed uh, so if you just got the urge to open some Lost Origin, obviously don't pay above MSRP to open up packs. Uh, there should still be some available if you look hard enough. Here's the big boy in the set. This is the alternate art Garatina V. This one has been climbing like crazy. Obviously, we've talked a lot about alternate arts. We've talked a lot about buyouts Garatina. Obviously, going through a stretch right now where it's seeing some insane growth levels. It's up to an all-time high, sitting at $356.19, which is way above its low point, which it was actually at in December of 2023. So just over the past past five months. It has gone from a one-year low all the way up to a one-year high. It has eclipsed where it was in May of 2023, sitting at 356.19 currently. So that's well above its 232.16 low. Here is the snips on eBay for the most recent sold of PSA 10. It's very interesting to see Lost Origin, not, ne not necessarily known for its quality. Quality control issues continue to be a big problem when it comes to Pokemon cards. We've seen this demonstrated with a lot of pop reports uh, involving the illustration rares from the Scarlet and Violet era. A lot of them struggling to get PSA 10s. Giratina V was no different. Giratina V, 4,155 10s, which isn't a small amount by any means, but when you look at the amount that have been graded, that's not even half of the graded total. So 8,550 copies of this Giratina V that have been graded 3,349 of them got nines. Only 4,155 of them got 10. So less than half got that PSA 10 mark. It does add quite the premium price to it. So if you remember, looking at this last slide here, it's sitting at about 350, 360 right now. Almost doubles in price or over doubles in price if you can get that PSA 10 because it is the first print run of Lost Origin. Now there was a lot of problems with the centering issues and whitening issues all over the place it seemed, especially with Giratina V. I remember pulling multiple copies of it where it was just a extremely off-centered, and that's why you're seeing some of these prices, these graded prices selling for $750, $800 for that Giratina V. Here's the Aerodactyl V. This one's starting to gain a little bit of ground back, still well off of its one-year high. Its one-year high, which was hit in May of 2023, was $119.65. It went down quite a bit, like many of those other alternate arts. Uh, they went down quite a bit throughout 2023, and you can see its low point hit in December of 2023, where it crashed down to about $82, so well below its one-year high. However, it has gained almost 20% 
percent of that back. So it's sitting at ninety six dollars and eighty nine cents currently. So about twenty percent higher than where it was just about five six months ago, and continuing to climb. It wouldn't surprise me if you saw this card go up a little bit more, especially with everything that's going on in the market. Here's a snip of the rest of the cards that are focused uh, in in uh, Lost Origin, th just the main series set. This doesn't include any of the trainer gallery cards. Uh, this just goes to show kind of the bigger hits, what you can pull. And there's not a whole lot after you get to that Aerodactyl. So the third most expensive card in the set is that alternate art Rotom V, which is selling for $33.37. Then you've got the two Giratinas after that. You've got the Giratina V-Star uh, Rainbow Rare at $18.94. So only three cards above $20. Everything else in the main series set, in the main set, not including the trainer gallery, selling below $20. So $18.94 for that Giratina. The gold Giratina currently selling for $15. That is going to be slightly impacted by competitive play because uh, Giratina V-Star is very popular in competitive play. So that gold card might drop a little bit if Giratina falls out of favor. There's that Galarian Persiker uh, selling for $15.13. Lost vac Vacuum $10.70. But that's it for cards that are currently selling for double digits. So only seven of them in the main series set that are selling uh, for double digits over $10, which is very interesting. If you look at the Trainer Gallery, here's the Trainer Gallery that I was talking about before. And this is sorted by uh, how expensive each card is. So only two cards that are selling above $7. And that's that's it. So if you haven't filled out your Lost Origin Master set and you really want to, uh, maybe start with the Trainer Gallery. There's a lot of really cheap cards in this set. The Pikachu VMAX, obviously the cream of the crop when it comes to the Trainer Gallery set for Lost Origin, selling for $36.73. Then you've got the Pikachu V at $22.41. Everything else is below $7. That boss's orders currently selling for $6.28. Mew VMAX is going to keep falling because it's no longer playable. Obviously, it's out of rotation, selling for $5.81. That gigantic, uh, that gigantic Pikachu VMAX selling for $5.65. It wouldn't surprise me if that one passed up uh, that Mew VMAX. And you've got Nessa, Eternatus VMAX, or Beetle VMAX, the Charizard, which is a little bit easier to pull uh, than those other ones above it, currently selling for $3.04. And even like that Gengar selling for $2.97. So very interesting to look at how cheap some of these cards still are, uh, which is great. And that's why if you want to open up Lost Origin packs, it's really important to kind of focus on those loose booster packs. Don't be worried about chasing uh, booster boxes or anything like that, especially right Right now with everything that's going on but uh lost origin is a beautiful set and i do think it's going to be a fan favorite for a very very long time i do put it ahead of brilliant stars as far as what i think is the best set above evolving skies as far as what i think is the best set obviously you can feel free to disagree uh with what you think is the best set but lost origin uh out of stock on the pokemon center website so it'll be very interesting to see what happens over the next several months uh when it involves lost origin are we going to see a repeat of what we saw with fusion strike is this going to become a 230 240 dollar booster box within the next few weeks you can let me know what you think uh down in the comment section down below i hope you enjoy the content if you do please uh hit that subscribe button down below leave a like leave a comment it goes a really long way for the algorithm but most importantly thank you just for taking the time to sit here and watch listen i love talking about pokemon it's just a wonderful thing and being able to share it with you guys is uh absolutely amazing so i love you guys i'll talk to you again tomorrow with another video till next time peace